with the development of electronic industry and production value testing of electronic products becomes increasingly complicated. Familiar functional testing is becoming less informative because of the increasing complexity of printed circuit assemblies. For many years, global electronics manufacturers have used the strategy of structural testing. It doesn't involve checking the functioning of product, but rather testing the quality of its assembly and compliance of design documentation. Tests themselves and their development are most often performed in automatic mode. One of the most popular methods for structural testing in circuit testing is carried out using an automatic tester and a needle type contact field. If the tested cut has sufficient contact areas, we can achieve almost 100% test coverage. Localization of dry joints, short circuits, checking the presence or absence of components, as well as measuring power values. But progress doesn't stand still. Electronics products are becoming smaller and sometimes it's impossible to place even a couple of dozens of pads on a board with high-density mounting. In addition, there have appeared new types of housings such as QFP, BGA, CSP, etc. Their outputs enable no test access with contact fields. In addition, a modern board can contain dozens of layers. Therefore, a completely different approach in terms of access has lately become increasingly popular. It is called boundary scan. The method is based on testing boards through a special connector with G-Tag, four-wire interface according to I3E 1149.1 standards issued in 1990. The boundary scan technology provides isolation of faults of a controlled electronic module and contacts it only in four test points – TDI, TCK, TMS, TDO. Another advantage of the boundary scan is a significant performance improvement of the testing process by eliminating redundant searches for short circuits breaks if the scan chain passes the test successfully. If a device has one or more chips that support I3E 1149.1 standards, you can test not only the circuit associated with these chips, but also other elements, including memory, logic, resistors and external connectors. When boundary scan mode is applied, GTAC components disable their logic and go to the test mode, allowing external hardware to manage its findings and test the circuit. Tools designed to test according to GTAC interface allow you also to produce inter-system programming or the flash memory and FPGA. A huge number of chips with GTAC interface used in modern designs are a requirement of modern electronic industry.